Teaching Butterfly to Young Swimmers I believe in teaching swimming we should start with the float and then build skills. Butterfly traditionally is known through the swimming world as the hardest stroke. Competitive butterfly is indeed hard but you can make butterfly for young swimmers fun and easier by 1. using flippers, 2. isolating skills before 3. combining arms and legs. Since good butterfly technique evolves around the dolphin kick, the best way to do this is put the flippers on and isolate or start with the kick. Encourage them to use their hips. I love that one. I love that one. Now just one more and I want this to be the very best one you can do. Okay, lock tight. Remember streamline. Here we go. Young children love the freedom that comes with using flippers. They go fast. This excites and encourages them. What happened? All right, you, you've got to keep your breath, get a breath as you're wriggling. Got to come, we'll do this last one properly. Come on, we'll do this last one. Remember, when you come up, you don't stop to breathe. Okay, here we go. When teaching them, play games. Have them kick on their tummy, kick on their back, kick left side, kick right side. Emphasise the fact that, one, they must kick both ways. Perfect. Now one more thing, can you do the same thing, wriggling on your back? So you've got to go underwater, six wriggles under, and wriggle on your back. Ready? Go. Two, explain that a dolphin's tail gets power up and down. Come on, come on. Three, encourage them to keep dolphin going when they need to breathe. And four, tell them a dolphin doesn't stop its tail when it comes up to breathe. I'm very happy that you put your hand back there so you wouldn't hit your head. But I want you to lock your arms on your ears for your six underwater kids. I think it's on. Huh? I think it's on. It is important to get the dolphin skill perfect. To do this, you must repeat the skill over and over. Keep correcting because incorrect skills will be hard to break if they are allowed to create and strengthen bad muscle memory. Praise good work. Remember, the standard you walk past is the standard you accept. I like doing dolphin kick on the back to help teach the child to kick both ways. Emphasize, to go fast, you must kick up and down and you must get your hips wiggling. Floating Butterfly Floating, elbows up, pull under your tummy, pull under your tummy, push back. That's a good pull, but now I want to see your arms come over the top. So you push right back and get your arms over the top. Let's go. Float, float, push back. Okay. It can be better. I want you to float. I'll show you. Arms start level with the shoulders. One. Two, three. If that was very good, Harper. But now, for butterfly, your arms have to come over the top of the water, not back under the water. So let's go up there and we'll do it again. Here we go. Floating butterfly. Float, pull, push, recover. Good. Float, pull, push, recover. Good. Float. Pull, push, recover. Good girl. That's it. Keep going. Pull, push, recover, float, pull, push. Arms over, float. Pull, push, arms over, float. Pull, push, arms over. That is so good, Harper. That was so, so good. We shot a video of that. Now I'm going to video this one. Six wriggles and then arms only. So you isolate your wriggles first and then you isolate your arms. Okay, here she goes. Can she do a good one? So get the wriggle happening. And now it's just arms over recovery. Let's watch this. Pull push. 
recover. That's it. Pull, push, recover. That's exactly what I want. So in Butterfly, you really need to isolate the skills when you're teaching kids Butterfly. You really need to isolate the skills when you're teaching kids Butterfly. Good one. I'm watching, I've got you on camera. So get your wriggles happening, then your arms. Here goes the wriggles, two, three, four, five, six. What a good one. Now elbows up, remember, and pull, pull under your tummy, recover. Get ready, pull under your tummy, recover. Everything starts with a float. All strokes start with a float. And you must teach the kids to pull properly. So good. Show me again. Straight back, please. That was a good one. I'm watching very carefully the float and the pull. Wriggles, ready, go. Good wriggles underwater. She's getting the feeling of the rhythm. Now she just gets the feeling of the pull. Elbows up, pull, push. And recover. Wait. Elbows up, pull, push. Recover. Elbows up. Pull, push. Recover. Yep. Give me a smile. That was beautiful. This time, hands in front. Fast wriggles. Make sure your bottom comes out of the water. Here we go. Leave your hands in front. Level with your shoulders. Okay, here we go. This is the entry position with the rhythm happening. The entry position, level with your shoulders, bottom up, bottom up, bottom up, bottom up. Okay, I want to see your bottom up a little bit more because you've got a very nice bottom. Let's go, let's go, bottom up more. Ready, here we go, ready, go. So, oh, this is it. Getting that bottom up, good, good, good. Ah, that was perfecto. Okay. Butterfly, full stroke. Now, this is the hardest thing. You've got to wriggle, wriggle, and use your arms. You've got to wriggle and use your arms. No breathing. No breathing. Wriggle and use your arms. Okay, here we go. Yep, this is proper butterfly, no breathing. Ready? Go. So all of a sudden, ah, not quite, That's, but it's getting better. That's your first time. That's your first try, so it's pretty good. Okay, move over. If you need to take a breath, you're allowed one breath in the length. So it's fast wriggles, fast wriggles, arms over. Okay, you ready? Here we go. Now she keeps wriggling and arms, wriggling and arms, wriggling and arms, wriggling and arms. Pretty good.